hi everyone welcome back to another video if you're new here welcome if you've been around here welcome again karibu sana so today i wanted to give you an overview of dagoretti constituency well there's many towns in this constituency as uh, as is and dagoretti is divided into two but before we get into it i wanted to give a special like recap to this little town here called kawagwari this is where i uh this is where I was raised for the most part of my life and uh, I got a lot of character from this place. So yeah, a little bit about Kangwari. It is a low income residential area in Nairobi, Kenya, about 15 kilometers west of the city center between Lavington and Dagoretti. According to the 2009 population and housing census, Kawangwari's population was 134,000 people at this time. It is established that 65% of the population are children and youths. Most inhabitants live in less than $2 a day and un unemployment is high. Many are self-employed traders. There is a diversity of ethnic backgrounds. Kawangwari Slam has more partial meals than bars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah guys, it's literally more posho meals and bars, making it an Ugali nation for its over 130 mouths, 30,000 mouths I beg your pardon, whose palates, unlike those of other Nairobians, have no time for supermarket unga, the, the grade 1 sifted maize meal favored by the middle class stomachs. So far guys, if you're enjoying the background music, which I specifically chose for this video, kindly hit that like button. And if you're watching and you're new, make sure to smash that subscribe button. We are at 1500 subscribers. Let's get to 2000. Let's get to 2000. It motivates me when I see you guys enjoy this content. So now we can get into Dagoretti constituency. Dagoretti is an area in the western part of Nairobi, the capital of Kenya. Administratively, it is one of eight divisions of Nairobi. The Dagoretti division is divided into six locations. The electoral Dagoretti South constituency has the same boundaries as Dagoretti divisions. The location hereby which are inside Dagoretti constituency are Kawangware, Kenyatta's Golf Course, Mutuini, Riruta Satellite, Udhiru, Ruthmitu, and Waithaka. The main form of transport is by road. Small buses which are also called Matatus and other buses like Kenya Bus Services, City Hopper, City Shuttle, and Connection Bus. These offer short distance trips to the city center. The Dagoretti Railway Station is on the main line of the national railway system. The main form of income is in industrial labor construction, household chores, small-scale trading on groceries, and career in carpentry, masonry, and tailoring. Also, middle-class population working in nearby schools, hospitals, and other government institutions. It is difficult to say when Dagoretti was first inhabited, but by the late 1890s when the Europeans first visited the area, they found a populated and cultivated territory. 19th century Dagoretti was part of the rich food producing Kikuyu country and was populated with Maasai and Kikuyu people as it lay on the edge of Maasai country. Kikuyu farmed sugarcane and banana among other crops while Maasai kept cattle. The two groups cohabited and their lives together ebbed between trade and raid. In fact, some Kikuyu spoke Maasai and some Maasai spoke Kikuyu. The prominent Kikuyu leader Waiyaki Wahinga is believed to have Maasai heritage. In August 1890, Frederick Lugard departed Mombasa for Lake Victoria on behalf of the Imperial British East African Company. Part of his mission was to establish treaties with local tribes and build forts along the route to Lake Victoria. 
Lugard arrived at Dagoretti by October 1890, having walked over 350 miles from Mombasa with his entourage of Sudanese Askaris led by Shukri Aga, Somali scouts led by Duala, Idris and nearly 300 Swahili porters. Idris had already visited Dagoretti a few years earlier while serving on Count Samuel Teleki's 1886-1889 expedition to Lake Turkana. At Dagoretti, Lugard was introduced to local leader and landowner Waiyaki Wahinga, with whom he formed an alliance by participating in a traditional blood brotherhood ceremony. Waiyaki helped Lugard identify a piece of land on which to build a fort. So there you have it guys, this is how Dagoretti looks like and uh, as time goes by I will be able to show you the developments that are coming into this constituency. Uh, I've seen that real estate in this area is popping up in a very high rate. Good commercial and residential real estate is popping up and uh, people seem to like this area because it's kind of cool and uh, I mean cool in weather, it's cold and uh, the lifestyle there is not too expensive as a, as it compared to near the city. So yeah guys, that's that's been it. If you like this content kindly, make sure to like, share this content, subscribe to my channel. Let's get us to 2000 subs. So that's been it. See you guys on the next one. Peace.